Hey everyone, it's Sarah Oblex Spiker here and uh, quick message, looking around, there's a lot of anxiety, there's a lot of anger, there's a lot of heartbreak, there's a lot of deep disappointments, there's a lot of distractions, plain and simple. So I want to share with you a couple of uh, tips that I picked up over, you know, 15 plus year basketball career on international level. Um, approaches that have allowed me to raise little ones while building a business and supporting clients, holding space for them and helping them navigate through their own unknowns. And that's exactly what it is. It feels like there's a lot of unknown. Hey there, how are you? It feels like there's a lot of unknown right now. And of course, we cannot predict the future. And um, the we create our own reality only goes to a certain extent. Um, but here's the deal. When we were on a court and it was a minute to go, we played an away game. So it wasn't even our own home court. The crowd was against us. Uh, we were down 10 points. And we were in situations when even refs, refs were obviously calling against us. But you know what? None of that was in our control. What was in our control was our own game. And in those moments, coach called us in a hurdle and she reminded us to stay focused to continuously stay together as a team, hold your head up, she said, and go back to basics. Basics is what we practiced every single day. No fanciness, no, I don't know what, it was basics. Basics and discipline and persistence step by step. Yes, holding this big vision that anything is possible. And of course, when games can be won. You can come down from behind being t behind by 10, a minute to go, you can still win a game. Over time, just adds a pressure, but it is doable. And we have done it. Other teams have done it. It takes discipline and it takes basics. Right now, it is so easy to get distracted. And I understand, you know, I am just a human myself. My life is a glorious mess right now. My heart has been broken in million pieces not that long ago. And you know what? I still find a way to get up every single day to dig deep inside just like I have through those conditioning workouts when my trainer was yelling at me he's like give me 10 more I was like I can't give you two more he's like give me 10 more and when 10 more were done he's like okay another set of 10 and I was like I can't yes you can and I did so what is inside of us right now will determine not only whether or not we can I mean, let me rephrase that. There's no doubt in my mind whether or not we are persevering. There, it's not a question. Of course we are. The question is right now how difficult we choose to make it for ourselves. And like I said, I am a human being. And if you ask my folks, I cry more than anybody. And I cry really easily. But right now, there's really no time for crying. For emotional release, yes, and then going right back into the game, focusing on every single moment, focusing on the vision. What is it that I'm creating? What is it I'm building? What drives me and what is the why behind it all and beneath it all? Going back to the basics and then picking the path of least resistance. Because right now, there's not a time to do all the fancy stuff, you know, and getting way out of our lane, back to basics, disciplined every single day. And this discipline does not only mean showing up and grinding and hustling and working yourself to the bones. When you cross a certain level in a personal development, I would say, um, just as important and strategies and, um, you know, <laughs> hustle and hard work are, the equal part of your success strategy is self-care. It's mindset mastery. It's the energetic frequency at which you are vibrating. So in order to maintain and elevate those, you need to create a space for yourself. You need to create a space for yourself physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, spiritually. That means a space where you can be with your own thoughts, when you can be in your own environment, where you can be in your creative flow 
It also means a space where you're fully supported, when you have this team around you, just like we used to have it on a basketball court. We work together as one, we work together as a team. There was no I in team in that particular moment. There was no who's better, who's worse. We were as a team and the team was only as good as the weakest link. Now, as solopreneurs, as business owners, the more successful we are, the higher up we are, so to speak, on the mountain, towards the mountain summit, the more lonely it gets. I get that. It is even more important in those situations to have people around you who not only are holding you accountable in terms of you know, making sure that you stay consistent and stay true in seeing your vision through. The accountability that I'm referring to, and I said it before, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to repeat it as long as it takes. The accountability is the highest level accountability, making sure that you are in alignment, in integrity, that you're congruent with your vision on the energetic, mental, emotional levels, so you're not sabotaging yourself. It has nothing to do with checking off all the boxes on your to-do list. This is not the accountability I'm talking about. In addition to having this highest level accountability, it is crucial to have somebody to help you hold this vision and hold the space for you. And I get it. Holding space for others comes easy for me. Being held, that's a whole different story. And I had to get over my own insecurity and in my own stories of worthiness and, um, you know, being worthy, being enough, being safe to be held. And yes, if this is coming up for you and you are noticing the resistance is coming up, get curious about it. Get curious. Why? What are the stories? And then what are the patterns? And what are the subconscious commitments? What are the patterns? And uh, what is the programming? Not just your own, but the one you carried over and you brought into your own life from generations and from your environment. Like I said, we are not immune to the environment, but we get to choose in every single moment how deeply we are affected. We get to choose to peel back the layers. We get to choose to release those stories. We get to choose to repattern those patterns. And it is a choice. Now, I'm not suggesting here to simply ignore and do the spiritual bypassing, which seems to be very, very popular right now, knowingly or unintentionally. A lot of especially... And this is going to be a whole different conversation for a whole other time, especially what I'm noticing in the industry when it comes to white coaches. We tend to, as a race, like I said, a whole different conversation, but we tend to apply this umbrella thinking of you create your own reality and it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what your heritage is. Of course it does. And it takes a different approach. It takes a different level of expertise. It takes a little level of the work to get through it. And the easiest thing is to, you know, just dismiss that and it doesn't work that way because we all have our own history. We all have our own story. We have, we all have our own epigenetics that are, is playing a factor in here. Um, and there's no way of bypassing that because it can really do more harm than good. But ultimately to surely simplify this conversation at the end of the day yes we all get to choose every single second every single thought gets to be a choice so if you find yourself in the environment right now that feels so overwhelming that feels so uh, depleting that feels heavy when your heart has been broken when people that used to be your rock deeply disappointed you when you're realizing that things are not as they seem when you have no other choice but to walk away from what used to be your dream, yes, you can definitely allow yourself the space to break down. And that is welcome release. In the meantime, you also get to choose to stay focused on where is that you're going. Why is that you're doing this? On this fire that is still within you. And you get to hold all of that and you get to move all this energy. And you get to go back to the basics and you get to stay persistent and you get to be consistent and you get to literally expand the capacities to not only create more, but also to receive more, to receive more support, to receive more love, to receive more 
creative flows, whatever it is that you need, whatever is going to flow to you. Right now, this is the crucial time. And whether this resonates with you on a level of personal relationships, whether it's in business, whether it's in your family, whether it's in your team, it's a universal principle. It really is a universal principle because at the end of the day, especially for women like you and I, <laughs> there's no switch to turn one off and turn the other one on. Yes, we might switch the hats. For example, I am keep switching the hats from homeschooling to kissing the boo-boos to cooking the lunch to picking up poops <laughs> from the dogs in the backyard uh, to holding my clients to the highest level accountability and holding space for them and helping them guide you know, helping guide them towards their own vision and go back to the whole circle. Cats are continuously being switched. So we are multidimensional beings. We are playing in this multiverse. And it is even more important to have this awareness and have this understanding of how to navigate this all because you cannot just turn it on and off, like walking out of one room and compartmentalizing and getting the other. We just aren't wired that way. And it can be our strength because you know what also happens? The way that we do one thing, we do everything. And you have probably heard it before. But then also, like I said, more than strategies themselves, it's also the state, the energetic state, the uh, state of our vibrational frequency, the level of our, our vibrational frequency, which we also get to adjust and play with and elevate to match and align ourselves to the vision that we're calling into reality. And you know what? <laughs> this is something that my mind still to this day, like I said, I'm just a human and I'm going to be super transparent here, but my mind still to this day tries to argue with this. And every single time I really drop in the zone and I'm really tapped in and tune into my source energy and I'm visualizing and it's also this feeling of levitation when I'm not even in my own body, all the goodness happens when I come back into my 3D world, for example, and I would check my email, I check my notifications, all the amazing things happen. All the things that I would say, you know, oh, it would be so good too, dot, dot, dot. They happen. My mind still wants to play tricks on me and still wants to talk me out of it. Still wants to say, oh, but in order to create this outcome, you need this fancy this and you need this fancy that. And that needs to be rewarded and this needs to be recreated. This needs to be rewrote, rewritten. Hmm. Right? There's no time for fanciness right now. We have already... We are already juggling so much. There's already so much motion and movement going on around us. There's already so much commotion going on around us. Right now, it's the game. Last minute in the game. We're down 10. It's overtime. The pressure is on. The time is running out. We can still win the game when we focus, when we get back to the basics, when we are persistent, where we are consistent, and when we believe, when we choose to believe and we take deliberate action, deliberate step, thinking very deliberately, intentionally, where we are intentional from every thought to every belief to every action. We can do it. I am doing it. You can do it too. So if this is something that you need to be supported, you require more support, let me know. If this resonates with you, or if you know somebody who needs to hear it, please share it with them. It can literally mean the difference between life and death. And I'm not joking. It is that serious right now. In addition to that, not just sharing, but I am implying right now, there's no time to play any, you know, slimy tactics and going to some sleazy strategies. Human to human, we are losing touch with our own humanity. We are losing human engagement. We have been isolated. We have been separated from each other for way too long. <laughs> we need to find a way to reestablish the human connections. Yes, screen time, sharing like this, seeing each other, it's all good. It is. Nothing can, you know, replace a hug. And I am a hugger. 
And <laughs> it's funny because a friend of mine says that my hugs are like a uh, Bobby's hugs. I'm a big woman. I'm not tiny. And I like to wear something comfortable like this. So imagine teddy bear hugs. This is what my kids are calling it, teddy bear hugs. Um, right now, those teddy bear hugs are not physically possible. We can still create it on energetic level. We can still create a space that feels safe, welcoming, warm, and that embraces those around us. And trust those um, intuitive hits when somebody's name pops into your consciousness, reach out to them, reach out to them. You never know when a simple phone call, a simple voicemail, a simple video message, a simple text or something really simple can mean so much to somebody. On the outside, we are all tough, right? We are all smiling and we all have it all together seemingly, especially in the social media. We don't. Like I said, my own life right now is a glorious mess, just like my hair. Um, <laughs> and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a human. That's why we are here in this human form. Otherwise, we'd reincarnate into, I don't know, a tree out in the park. I don't know. Um, there is a reason why we are here in this particular time, in this particular space. And right now is even more important to break through all those molds of how we are expected to behave, how we are expected to talk or walk or dress, and getting back to basics, getting back to our pure essence, who we truly are, remembering who we are, who we were meant to be before we gave in into all those stories and perceptions and beliefs that are simply limiting us, and we are limiting ourselves consequently. So, the bottom line, <sighs> you got this, you do, you've got this, the world needs you right now more than ever, we need your energy, we need your presence, we need your gifts, we need your brilliance, we need your expertise, we need your ability to hold space, we need your ability to organize communities, we need your ability to strategize whatever your gifts are. They are needed and they are nothing less or nothing more than anybody else's. We are all equally important right now, but we do not have time to play games anymore. We do not have time to pretend. We do not have time to hide. We do not have time to have pity parties, to freak out, to feel far, sorry for ourselves. Because at the end of the day, here's another truth that I had learned through my own experience. When it seems like the end, when it seems like everything is falling apart, it's simply rearranging itself. It is simply a new beginning, a reset, a restart. And I just read a quote somewhere in one of my witchery books, I think it was. It said, everybody's birthright is a reset and a restart. And everybody has a birthright for new beginnings. So even at the end of the path that seems like there's nowhere else to go, in the darkness where you can see nowhere, there's always light, and that light is you, by the way, and there's always an opportunity for new beginnings, and in every single mess, there is a message. Never forget that. <sighs> that was intense. So, <laughs> like I said, if you need to be supported, if you need, if you do need to be <laughs> supported, if you require a different kind of support, reach out. Either it is something that I can help you with or I can put you in touch with somebody. If you're looking for resources, let's connect. I have a vast network of amazing people. And if this is something that you know somebody needs to hear, please either send them our direction or send them this message, share it with them. And third, trust your inner guidance, trust those instincts, reach out to the person that pops into your mind, as well as if you have been dancing around and contemplating your next move and tapping into, hmm, should I or shouldn't I? And your first instinct was yes, and then your mind started to take over. Just trust your damn instincts, okay? That's from me to you for today. I'm sending you much love, much light, and some fire. Absolutely some fire up underneath my, our own 
mine and your <laughs> collective um, to really get this going and to really catapult us to where we ought to be together. Take care.